Hey everybody, welcome to Babe Life Fit YouTube channel. I am Laura Milroy, your plus size fitness coach and motivator. Today, I want to talk to you about life hacking your motivation. One of the main objections that I get when people are trying to get healthy or get fit is that they say they lack the motivation and they just can't get motivated and inspired to work out every day. Believe it or not, there are some tips and tricks you can do to not just get motivated, but stay motivated. On one hand, it's complete bullshit because you own your thoughts. But on the second hand, there are times where it is just difficult and life throws so much at you and the last thing you can do is be your own cheerleader. So I wanted to give you some tips and tricks and a few little things that you can do not just to get motivated but to pull yourself out of a funk and to stay motivated. The first and probably most important trick that I have is finding your why. Why do you want to get fit? Why do you want to go after your goal? What is the reason driving you to even want this in the first place? Knowing why you want to pursue a goal in the first place is probably one of the most important things that you can do to actually reaching that goal because it is going to be what's driving you every step of the way. Every time you hit an obstacle, you will be remembering why you wanted to reach that goal in the first place. Being able to write it out, build it into your story, keep telling yourself the reason why you want to pursue something, it will help you so much to motivate you to get where you want to go, to be able to see the finish line, to be able to keep going when things get tough. And so making sure you identify that for yourself is so important. The second one that kind of goes along with this is to write it down. Don't just think it, don't just tell somebody about it. Write it down, write it on your mirror, put it on a cue card, put it on a cork board or on your fridge or something so that you can see it every single day and you can remember what it is that you are working for every single day. So on the days that you don't want to work out or you don't want to eat kale yet again, you can see the reason why you're doing this. The sacrifices that you're making are to achieve this end result. Make sure that you write it down in a place that you can see it every single day and look at it and understand the reason why you are pushing yourself every day. Three, this is something that not that many people will really consider, but surround yourself with positive people. If you have a bunch of people tearing you down or getting you frustrated, or contributing negatively to your life, it is gonna change your thought process and you are gonna start thinking negatively. You are gonna start thinking cynically and critically instead of being positive yourself. If you can surround yourself with positive people, you will be uplifted, you will stay motivated, you will be optimistic that you can actually reach this goal and that you can you know, continue on the path that you're on. It is so important to stay in a positive mind frame and if you can do that, you will undeniably find success. Four. So this one is really for people who maybe don't have as many positive people in their life or really just need that extra boost. I, for myself, I work from home. So there are days where I don't see that many people outside my family. If I can't surround myself with positive people, I listen to podcasts. I listen to inspirational and motivational podcasts that help me stay in a positive mind frame and can talk about p other people who have reached their goals, whether it's business or fitness or mental health or whatever it is you're going after, it really helps to keep you in a positive mind frame and also see that you're not alone. There are other people who are going through obstacles and you can get through yours as well. Honestly, listening to some really great podcasts will totally help you stay in a positive mind frame and help you get that motivation back when, when you start to lose it a little. I have a few podcasts that are personal favorites. I will list them in the description below so that you can have a look and um, see if maybe it will help you stay on track as well. The fifth and final tip that I have for life hacking your motivation is stop the bad thought process. Everybody does it. We get into a place where things are happening to us, shit's going down, there's another obstacle, it feels like we can never get on top of anything, and we start to throw ourselves a little pity party, we start to become the victim of our circumstances, we start to blame other people or just you know feel really bad about ourselves, blame ourselves. The fact of the matter is, is that you're not at the end of your journey, you're in the middle. And so why do you expect it to look like the finish line when you're still on the course? So when you have these bad thoughts in your head, 
recognize them, own them, and say, no, I am not going there today. I am going to listen to a podcast. I'm going to go for coffee with a friend. I'm going to do something completely different to get myself out of this bad mind frame, listen to some fun music, jump up and down, just get excited about something and go talk to someone who is excited about something so I can get excited about something. If you can do that, it really helps pull you out of the bad thought process. The more you think negative thoughts, the more you will, you will think them. If you can change that course a bit and start thinking more positively, then your mind will start bu building neural pathways to having a better thought process and to being more positive and not letting yourself go down a really negative rabbit hole that we all can get caught up in sometimes. So I hope some of these tips and tricks will help you get and stay motivated. And I would love to hear if you have any more of your own. If you can post them in the comments below, send me a message, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I would love to hear from you and hear about your thoughts on staying motivated and the tricks that you use to have a positive uh, thought process. As always, I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe below. I would love to hear from you, and make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks so much. Have a great day.